Hello. I was just putting these dry tent chandeliers into my 3x3 for my next dry, and I realized that I haven't made a video and showed you what I use to dry, trim, cure, store. Basically everything from the day before I harvest until the until it's smokable. Um, yeah. <laughs> so what I'll do is the day before harvest, I'll make up a batch of Dr. Zymes. I use Dr. Zymes in flour because there's no oil in it to stick to your buds and it's all natural. <clears throat> I do use Crop Defender in veg. That's also another great product. But in flour, I don't want the oil on my buds. So I use Dr. Zymes and what I'll do is I'll make a batch up and I'll put it in this Petra Tools HD 4000. If you know me, you know that I love this sprayer. This is my all-time favorite sprayer from Petra. If you've talked to me about any of their products, I've definitely brought this up to you. Check it out if you're looking for an all-around sprayer. The thing's a beast, 12-volt battery, lasts a long time. It's got multiple attachments, head attachments for different types of spray applications. Um, just, just a beast, just a workhorse, I love it. It's my go-to. So what I'll do is I'll spray it down the day before I harvest the plant and I'll let it sit overnight and the next day I'm ready to go. And as I'm cutting the plant down, if I notice any powdery mildew, I'll make a bud wash with this. And what you do is you take a five gallon bucket, you add five gallons of warm water and you add a cup of this to it and then you dip your buds in there a few times, you know, swish them around, then hang them right up and you're good to go. You shouldn't have any powdery mildew from there unless, you know, you some, some plants are unhelpable, but this has saved my crops more than one time. It's really a great product. Uh, so then what I'll do is after I cut the plant down, obviously I put it into these dry tent chandeliers and I'll let them dry for six to 12 days and I'll keep an eye on it. And once the, the stems almost snap is when I know they're still good. I don't like to go till they snap, just a little before they snap. So they got a good give to them, but they don't snap. And that's my preference. And then, so what I'll do is, as it's drying, after I get them loaded up in here, I have the AC Infinity 69 Smart Controller. This one is a Bluetooth, it's not the Wi-Fi. <clears throat> and I'll set my humidity for 62. And my temperature, I'm at the mercy of whatever temperature my place is. As you can see right now, it's, it's 65 in here because I have the tent open. Um, so, I'll shoot for 65, you know, it ranges between 65 and 70, 72, depends on the day, <coughs> excuse me. But I always try to keep my humidity at around 62. And also what, I'll, what I use are these backdrop dippers from AC Infinity. Um, when the fan kicks on, these open up, allow the air to come in, when they close, you know, they're sealed pretty good, not perfectly, but they're, they're sealed well. And no air can get back in, no way I can get out. See, so the temperature stays more even, if that's the right way to say it. <laughs> and um, this is a four inch. I have a four inch and a six inch on this one. I use these on all my tents, whether I'm drying or growing. It, it is automatically there, I like, because it keeps the smell down. And like I said, I can control my environment a little bit better. So I have these in all my tents. Yeah, they're really good. I like them a lot. So. After the six to 12 days, oh wait, so I have my humidifier, sorry. <laughs> and I'll, this is a smart humidifier from Lee Void. I got this on Amazon, no affiliation with the company or anything. Um, it works, it works pretty well, I'm happy with it. And what I like to do is I like to try to get the plant to stuff the tent. I'll use the tent that I can just get the plant into. So my environment is easier to control. If I'm, like say I'm drying a six ounce plant in a four by four, it's so much harder to control that environment because the RH just dissipates really, really quickly. And here, I won't have to use a humidifier for like five, six days because the humidity from the plant is going to keep the humidity up in this tent. And then I'll just use my AC Infinity fan to exhaust the high RH and keep it at that 60, 62 level until I need to kick this on. <clears throat> so, Basically, that's what I do. I don't, now, these fans will not eat, will not run at all. These, this is a pre-existing tent. I grow in this tent, and I'm just going to dry in it this time. Because, like I said, I like the size of it, because this plant looks like it's going to be about 8 ounces, half pound. So it should fill this pretty well. So the environment is going to be easier to control for me, if that makes any sense. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> so, after the 6 to 12 days when the, when the plant is dry, 
I'll, I'll cut it off the stalks and into the trim bag it goes. This thing is a lifesaver for me. I, I could care less about trimming and to get the buds in here and to get it all done in a half hour's time is worth it to me. I can, like I said, my plants are, my plant, you just, each plant usually yields me between eight and 11 ounces and I can trim it up in a half hour. It takes longer to actually cut it off the stalk than it does to shake it in here. It shakes in here maybe five minutes, if that, depending on how much you got. Um, half a pound, three, four minutes. You know, this, it's just a great product, I love it. <clears throat> so after you shake it in here for five minutes, the key falls down and there's a little collection bin under here that you open up and what I'll do is I'll pour it into the trim bin. And this has, uh, I think it's a, I wanna say 150 micron screen. Could be a little bit bigger or small, but it's right around there. And this allows the teeth to fall through and into uh, the bottom. So I'll take the, the, I'll take the trim, I'll put it in here, and I'll shake it. I'll jostle it up and I'll allow all the teeth to fall to the bottom. And I'll take it out of, take the trim out of here and jar it for you know edibles or whatever I'm going to do with it. And then I'll take the bud, the buds from here, and I'll put the buds in there. And there's any extra trimming that I need to do, because sometimes there's, there's little, you know, you, it's not perfect. This thing's not perfect by any means. There's gonna be little leaves here and there, but the amount of trimming that you have to do, if you really, you don't even have to, if you wanted to do it, is uh, minimal, very minimal. Sometimes I don't even trim, I'll just let it, let it be alone, it'll just fall off as it's in the bud, being in the bags, being moved around when you move them and stuff. So after the buds are done here and I get all the keys that I want and they're all set into the um, growth bags they go. <coughs> Excuse me. Another great product. <laughs> this is my favorite size and style growth bag. These are the quarter pound velvet matte soft touch finish, I believe. And uh, another great product. I love them. I've been using these for about three years and I'm not changing anytime soon, no way. If I ever change, I'd be very surprised. No burping and I get a great cure every time. <coughs> and as far as trimmers go, these are basic trimmers. These are Fiskars, these are opulent systems, these are dope clips. These are some, some really intricate work. If you're really fussy about the appearance of your buds, I think these trimmers will probably be something that you like. Um, these two are comparable. This one's a little bit stronger than this one. But other than that, that's basically what I use. Um, if you're interested in any of the products that I showed you here today, uh, you can save $20 off dry tents, code JWIN20. Uh, code JWIN will save you $10 off your order at Petra Tools. Code JWIN will save you 15% off road bags. And code JWIN will save you 7%. Oh, <laughs> that's trim bag. <laughs> code JWIN will save you 15% off trim bag. And then code JWIN will save you 7% off road bags. Um, growth Bags also has a make your own or mix your max section on their website. So you can just spend five dollars and get make an order. And if you want to try them out, you know, it's cost effective that way. But highly recommend, highly recommend any of those products that you see that I'm using. Definitely made my life a lot easier. Anyways, thought I'd just do that. And if you have any questions, please leave them below. And if you have any tips for me, Please leave those below too. I'm always willing to learn. Love it. Have a great day.